of downtown Boston, our location tonight gives you a great idea of the beauty of this historic city. And here we go with Game 4 of the NBA Finals. We will see a Game 5, but will we see Game 6? That's the question. With Brett Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. Now Golden State's starting five. Sharing the wing spots, it's Thompson and Wiggins. Draymond Green is out there with Otto Porter Jr., and it's Curry in at the point guard position. And for Boston, outside the wings are Brown and Tatum. Horford is out there with Williams, and it's Smart in at the point. You take a look at the Warriors. Well, they've only dropped two in this series, Greg, but tonight feels like a must-win game for them. Listen, very few teams have come back from a 3-1 deficit in the finals. But what they need to remember is they've been the better team all season long. It's time to get back to what they do well and really just make every possession count. Now here's Smart. Outside, Horford. Shot clock at five. Austin needs to get off a shot. Smart misses. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up to the Warriors. Come off a really big loss on Sunday. Yeah, a snowball effect in that one. One thing would go wrong, then another, then another. Really, the story of the game. Yeah, it felt like just the entire roster was stuck in neutral. There was nobody offensively that could get anything going. And the basket by Curry. Stephen Curry. The thing of beauty, Steph Curry Curry's shot from distance, pure. Bottom in a play so far here in the first. Smart passes to Brown. Over Thompson. Warriors with the rebound. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. I caught up with Coach Ime Yadoka, and he talked about his team standing in this series. He seemed pleased, but he's cautiously optimistic. He said it's nice to be only two games away from an NBA championship, but it feels like the real one is just getting started. Of course, a win tonight, Kevin, to get them much closer to their goals. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. Here's Curry. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Golden State moving the ball around. Wiggins passes to Porter. Outside Curry. Passes it to Wiggins. Thompson the bounce pass. Green kicks to Thompson. Another three for Golden State. Clay Thompson takes a ton of pride in the catch and shoot game. His release is lightning quick. Smart passes to Horford. Pass to Brown. For the three. That one doesn't drop. The Warriors go the other way. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Curry passes to Thompson. And it's Thompson again missing. Celtics trail by four. Tatum down low. Guarded by Curry. Great tee that time from Green. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Curry outside. That shot is off. Some solid defense from Brown. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Tatum dishes to Horford. He's looking for Williams and finds him. And that one drops. You know, still a raw talent, but Williams does have a reliable inside game that continues to get better. Thompson outside. The three. Hits the three-point bomb. Thompson. Thompson's got a couple of threes now in the first of the Warriors. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Tatum. Porter pulls it in. Warriors leading by five. Curry with it. Williams picks him up. Curry against Williams. 
Thompson passes to Curry. Launches a three. Excellent D there from Williams. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Tatum draws the double. Shoots. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Knocked it down there. As his career has gone on, Al Horford has added more and more to his outside game. Now here's Curry. Outside Green. Outside Curry. Stolen by Smart. And the pass to Williams. Draymond Green pulls it in. The Warriors lead it. Here's Curry. Al Horford with the rebound. And his touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And the vertical that Brown has is pretty impressive. As relentless a finishing as you'll find in our league. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Warriors. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. And the first one at the line is good. And Brown drops them both. And here are the Warriors now. Here's Curry. Outside Porter. Back to Curry. And the call will be against Al Horford. That's his first foul. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And that block was something. It's the playoffs and every possession and defensive stop matters. Thompson finds Green. Golden State moving the ball around. Porter with it. Now guarded by Tatum. It's Curry outside. Good and a nice assist from Porter. Curry's got six. If you get Steph Curry in catch-and-shoot opportunities, you just have the feeling he's not going to miss. Outside Tatum. Curry with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. Thompson for three. Another three for Green. Golden State. And they are shooting the lights out from distance here early. against Curry. Smart kicks to Tatum. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Tatum's got his second basket of the game. And I like the back and forth here showing confidence from Ray. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. feet away. It's in. It's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Higgins outside. Pass to Thompson. Outside curve. A shot. And yep, finally dropped it after rolling around the rim. Curry's got his third bucket of the night. Great execution. Steph just ripping the defense right now to shreds. What a great screen and roll action that was. And here's Tatum for three. That one's not going to go. The Warriors go the other way. Three on three. 
Wiggins kicks to Thompson. Over Horford. And it's sent back by Horford. Well, a level of engagement that Horford brings on the defensive end every night is impressive. Terrific lockdown. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined Point big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Following the bucket by the Celtics. Left side, Porter. Passes to Wiggins. Thompson in the corner. Five on the clock. Shoots over Brown. And that one Blaine off the back Thompson. of the rim and in. Thompson's got 11 points. And then he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter. Looking to extend the lead. Green against Williams. Here's Tatum. And the dunk by Tatum. Aggressive and efficient. Tatum Williams using his size around the rim. That's what this team wants to see more of. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Looney's check in for the Warriors. Kevon Looney. Celtics on D. Trailing by two. Thompson dishes to Wiggins. Curry against Smart. Curry passes to Looney. Kicks it to Wiggins. There's the three. Rebound by the Celtics. Right side Tatum. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. To the middle. Williams with the block. The amazing thing about Williams, yeah, he, he can block shots inside, but he can also block shots out on the perimeter. His ability to play in space it means he's more than just a rim protector. Doesn't care where you're shooting from. Thompson outside. Pass to Looney. Higgins outside. And Thompson kicks to Curry. The pass to Wiggins. Shoots from the elbow. He climbs that one off the back iron and down it falls. And the Warriors lead by two. And here's Smart. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Tatum passes to Williams. And it's slammed in by Williams. Unselfish play by Tatum. Getting into a shooter in rhythm instead of chasing his own shot. Thompson outside. Still looting. It's tipped. He kicks the curve. Higgins outside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And this is encouraging. Wiggins looking committed to shooting and forcing the D to compromise. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Andrew Wiggins taking two shots. Good, Wiggins. And the winner's mentality Wiggins has is commendable. A hard worker who wants to keep improving. And some changes here for the Celtics. Williams, he's checked in for Horford. Derek White comes in for Jason Tatum. And it's Pritchard in for Smart. And both free throws good for Wiggins. Austin's gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Pass to Brown. Takes a three. That one, no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Outside curve. Shoots it. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. 
Green against Williams. White, wide open. He fires. Off target from three-point range. And, and, Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. The shot by Curry, no good. Celtics trail by four. To the paint, Williams passes to Pritchard. And that one is good. The defense is not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. 104 left to play in the first. Wiggins kicks to Thompson. Shot clock at six. Wiggins up top. He's covered by Brown. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Richard passes to Williams. That ties it up. Good passing in the paint may be even more important to an offense than great passing on the perimeter. Those are areas where you've got to be careful. Now here's Curry. Ten points for him. Fires top of the key. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Curry. Curry's got 12 in the game. Yeah, this is a solid opening quarter right here. Very active and creating a lot of good opportunities for himself. Williams can't get it to go. And the Warriors with possession here. Curry with it. He's got 12. Thompson outside. In the corner, it's Wiggins. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. He has seven. And how about the confidence of Wiggins? His teammates want him to take those shots. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. We come back right after this. And we welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. And from what we've seen so far from the Warriors, how would you grade them? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside. The defense pretty lost. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They've got Jordan Poole. Porter is out there with Clay Thompson. Then it's Nemanja Bialica. And it's Peyton in at the two spot. Here's Poole. Now the feed to Porter. You can tell that Horford really helps in altering the shot by sliding over his presence alone, adjusting that one. Here's Brown. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Now Poole. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. That's his first. Nice job by Bielitsa to just stay with it there, and then good body control. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Bielitsa at the line for one. Free throw good from Bielitsa. Bielitsa can surprise you at times, not just as a shooter, but pump faking, putting the ball on the deck, and trying to become a playmaker. As long as he's under control, he can do some nice things out there. Now oh, here is Orford. He dishes it to White. No good on that one. Peyton with some nice D. Warriors leading by six. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Some nice passing by Golden State. Pass to Bialitsa. Now Poole, five to shoot. Over White. And 
there are the Warriors Gordon. now with another Ooh. bucket. Just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Now, here's Brown. He's got six. Driving the lane. Brown champs it in. And what amazing athleticism from Brown. Putting on a show out there with slams like that. Golden State's gone 6 of 11 when they're taking a three point shot tonight. Very respectable. The pass to Peyton. And a fast break now for the Celtics. Here's Pritchard. Offensive rebound. It's deflected. Now, here's Poole. Inside leaner. Kicks to Porter. And there are the Warriors oh, now with another Porter. bucket. And you got to honor that mid-range J from Porter. Over time, he has really improved that shot. Here's Pritchard. Guarded by Poole. Puts it up. And they get it back. And it's White missing. Warriors leading by eight. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Porter looking it over. Six on the shot clock. Thompson misses. Oh, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. And White kicks to Williams. There's the dish to Brown. Floats one. Rebound by Bialica. Warriors are gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three of six. Poole with it. Working on Williams. Cool, no good. And pulled out all the stops to fight his way inside, but the D just was not giving in. Here's Pritchard, started by Poole. Here's Horford, banked in off the glass. Horford's got his second basket of the night. Weight room, paying off, absorbed the contact, and finding a way to get it done there. Warriors leading by six. Poole, the pass to Peyton. Porter, dishes to Peyton. Pass to Bialica. To Poole. Into the lane. No good that time. Now Boston takes it the other way. Over in the corner, Brown. Outside, Horford. Here's Williams. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. And now just a four-point warrior lead. Golden State's gone six of eleven when they're taking the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Porter kicks to Poole. Back to Porter. Baden outside. Just five to shoot. This is it to Poole. Goes up on the high post. And that one, good. Poole's got four points in the quarter. And Boston. they are earning timeout. points with the jump shot now. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Andrew Wiggins checked in for the Warriors. Curry comes in for Peyton. Substitution for the Warriors. Andrew Celtics Wiggins. trail by six. Stephen Curry. Brown outside. It's good for his fourth bucket of the night. He's shooting four of eight. From Peyton Pritchard. The Warriors have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all two. And there's the foul. It's on Peyton Pritchard. That is his first foul of the game. And team foul. Now here's Curry. He's covered closely. Poole, the pass to Bialitz, dishes it to Curry. Poole kicks to Curry. Higgins trying to free himself up. Curry can't get it to go. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Now, here's Brown. Ten points for him. And it's Bill Eaton with the foul. 
And this is his first foul of the game. Up. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Here's White. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Horford's got three assists Derek in the game. White. The Warriors lead it. Here's Curry. 12 points for him. Driving in, and the shot goes in. Curry. Curry's got 14. Steph Curry is adept at finishing those drives. Defenders never know what kind of shot he's going to throw up, but confident it's going to go in. Here's Pritchard. Fires from the wing. Williams. It's good on the putback. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Here's Curry. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's not Curry angling his body perfectly on that shot, following straight into the contact. Those free throws are automatic. It's his first trip to the line. Stephen Curry at the line for two. one falls for yeah this is not the guy you want to step up and make his way to the free throw line but you wouldn't expect that he's going to miss any of these Williams he's checked in for Williams <laughs> Stephen Curry hits them both a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe, but he has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Outside, White. Going inside. Uses the glass to finish the win. White's got five points now this quarter. The Warriors have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Pass the Bialyts. Thompson in the corner. It's stolen by Brown. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Kirk. A shot by Pritchard, no good. Time for some consideration in the passing category. Kevin, the shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. This story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Here's Pritchard. Following the score by Golden State. Brown inside the line. And too long on the shot. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Now here's Poole. Light covering Thompson. It's hauled in by Brown. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. It's a three-point game. It's blocked. They retain possession. Well, he had the perfect opportunity to finish that one, guys. Just flat out blew it. And here is Curry. He's got 16 to the inside and stolen by Horford. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Brown's got the ball over Thompson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Thompson. That one on Thompson. I admire the energy that Brown plays with so great at getting to the line. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots in the game right here. At the line for two shots. throw good from Brown and some changes here for the Celtics. Daniel Tice is checked in for Horford. Tatum comes in for Derek White and Marcus Smart is subbed in for Pritchard. Then for the Warriors Looney comes in for Bielitsa and it's Green in for Jordan Poole. And 
Brown drops them both. Here's Curry. Thompson outside. Curry against Smart. Curry dishes to Wiggins. Over Tatum. And that one's good. Wiggins. Wiggins. Wiggins has got nine. And give Wiggins credit. The deep pressuring him there, but in the end, he keeps his composure and able to finish the play. Here's Tice. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. That mid-range jumper is just another one of his weapons. Curry with him. He's got 16. Now the pass to Thompson. Fires the three. And another three for Golden State. And, and let's see, guys, and that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. Smart kicks to Tatum. Pass to Tice. Three-pointer. No good that time. The Warriors go the other way. A deep three from Thompson. It's rebounded by Tice. Celtics trail by four. Outside, Smart. Passes it to Tice. Tatum dishes to Brown. Two free throws Green coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Raymond Green. That's his second personal foul. Austin shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. At the line for the Celtics, Jalen Brown. At the line for two shots. And he knocks down the first one. The Warriors making a switch here. Peyton's checked in. Them both. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Now here's Curry. 16 points for him. Dayton finds Green. Golden State moving the ball around. Now Wiggins. Back to Curry. Six to shoot. That falls. Ice Seven. feed that time from Wiggins. Curry's got six in the quarter. That's tremendous balance. Steph's ability to keep his composure in that tough situation, work in a tight space. That's impressive. Now here's Smart. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Tice with the ball. Looney on him. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Raymond Green. That's his third personal foul. The Celtics have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six. Daniel Tice at the line for two. And he makes the first. Derek White checked in for the Celtics. He doesn't get the second one. 
Warriors leading by three. Baden outside. Smart against Kirk. Back to Baden. Looney passes to Baden. And here's Wiggins, guarded by Tatum. And it's Wiggins missing. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Outside, Smart. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Third team foul. Golden State's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Outside, Green. 58 seconds left in the first half of basketball. And it's Wiggins with the jam. Now, Draymond Green patient enough to know when his teammates are running around, at some point one's going to break open, then he finds them. Smart passes to Tice. Misses from short range. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Has to beat. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Here's the pass to Pete. Here's Looney. Right covering. They double team group. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Boston ball. Celtics trail by five. Now here's Smart. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Some of what Smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but, but he makes plays that help you win. The Celtics have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. At the line for two shots. free throw no good and that trip coming up empty missing both Here's Curry. There's the triple. He can't get that one. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Warriors lead by five. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Joined here by Steve Kerr. Coach, great offense from you guys in the first half. What got you the lead? I started calling some great plays for Steph Curry. That's why you're the coach of the year, Steve. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Checking out the Warriors, they're already down 2-1 in the series and can ill afford to lose another. That's why tonight's close-fought battle has all the makings of a nail-biter that could go right down to the wire. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what you think? Well, the three-point shooting was the key thus far. When you're knocking down those shots from the perimeter, it really spreads the floor. You demand respect from the defense. We'll see if they can keep it flowing in the second half. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? They need to play with better energy on D. Some of these guys are going to sleep out there. <sighs> anyway, 
They've allowed over 50% shooting, gave up way too many open looks. I'm sure they hear that in the locker room. Maybe they'll come out angry. these two teams do back in their quest for an NBA championship. Really an incredible game from Stephen Kerr. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the court right now for the Celtics. Smart in the backcourt with Brown to his side. Jason Tatum is out there with Horford. And it's Williams at the five down low. And a dunk by Horford. All right, now Horford getting up there for the gym. You forget how big he is. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. Three-point lead. Porter at the elbow. Wiggins finds Green. Inside. And a great assist right by Curry. As that one goes in. Curry's got five assists tonight. Boston shooting a respectable 47% from the field in this one. Tatum passes to Williams. Yes, that goes in. 12 points for Williams. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Gets it to go from Steph beyond the arc. Curry. Curry's got 21. This is why Steph Curry is virtually unguardable. When he's sinking those kind of shots, it just devastates you defensively. Now here's Tatum. He's got nine. An aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Green dishes to Wiggins. Got a piece of it. Back to Thompson. Three-pointer. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got rebound number seven for him tonight. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. Yeah, they've only missed one out of their first five shots here in the second half, guys. Their offense really moving well. Ball snapping and shooting looks to be in great rhythm. Pass to Porter. Some nice passing by Golden State. Here's Thompson. Going to go that time. Some solid defense from Brown. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Smart passes to Williams. Outside Tatum for the lead. Tatum with another miss. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Up top, Curry, guarded by Smart. Curry can't get it to go. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. So impressive, the, the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Well, they didn't really have a choice at the position that they were. They had to fight hard. They've gotten that. They've outworked the other team just fighting. Here's Wiggins following the basket by Jalen Brown. Curry against Horford. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Steph with a great job there just getting to the end one opportunity. The timing of his shot and knowing when the defense is coming at him to draw contact. The Warriors shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game.
Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Outside Tatum. Unloads from 13. Good. He hits the jump shot. Tatum's got six points in the quarter. An incredible leaper at 6'8". Tatum is difficult to stop down low. Here's Curry. And he banks in the lane. Stephen. And the Warriors lead by three. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Outside, smart. He dishes it to Tatum. This one for three. Smart misses. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. Austin's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Brown. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Curry's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. A three, and the three ball is good. Now it's a six-point warrior lead. Yeah, I feel like the ball really isn't even getting anywhere close to the rim. It's all cotton right now. Up top, Brown. He's covered by Thompson. Let's it go from 11. Brown, good. Brown's got 18 points. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Now Thompson following the miss by Otto Porter from deep. Out to Thompson. Passes it to Wiggins. Down to five on the shot clock. Doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Smart. Celtics trail by four. Pass to Horford. And here is Tatum. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got four assists in the game. And every year, Tatum evolves. Tonight, he's given us a taste of everything he's been working on. Oh, here's Curry. He's got 29 points. Here's Wiggins. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. 13 points in the game. And so it's Boston with it. They trail by three. In the corner, Horford with it. Brown outside. Outside, Williams. There's the pass to Smart. Just four to shoot. For the tie. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Porter's got rebound number five here tonight. Curry looking it over. Williams against Wiggins. Pass to Porter. Over Horford. And here is Curry. A three ball. Rebounded by Smart. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got six rebounds now in the game. Curry, good. Curry's got 13 points now in the quarter. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. Just killing it from deep. They, they've got to be all up in his jersey at all times. Give him even an inch. He just ask it for him to drop another triple. The Celtics making a switch here. Tice is checked in. And the Warriors also making a change. Pools checked in. Horford gets to Smart. Outside Tatum. Let's it fly. The Warriors pull it in. Cool with it. Six points for him. Right 
inside Porter. Over smart. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Now it's a seven point Warrior lead. Now smart. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Tatum over Wiggins. Tatum's shot is off. Warriors leading by seven. Now here's Poole. No good on the shot. Great D that time from Tatum. And so it's Smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Celtics. At the top of the key, Horford. Brown wide open. He fired. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Poole, the pass to Green. Back to Poole. Porter trying to free himself up. Poole, no good. Celtics trail by seven. Here's Smart. Shock up two there. Smart's got his first points of the night. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. Poole, the pass to Green. Back to Poole. Over tight. Takes the elbow jumper Rolling. and drains it. Poole's got eight points. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. Yeah, I don't think he even sees a taller defender out there. Just a gifted scorer. Here's Wiggins. Good work defensively by Smart. Boston's gone into a slump here from three-point range. Shooting just one to five here in the third. And a dunk by Horford. And the skills of Brown. Just a super athlete, but a tremendous floor general as well. Horford has a wide open look. And the shot no good. A bit short. Warriors leading by five. Here's Poole. He's got eight. That's tipped. One on one here. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Smart goes in. Count that bucket. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Timeout called the Warriors. Man, the lot is section gets free. Williams, he's checked in for the Celtics. Mike comes in for Brown. Then for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Draymond Green. Ayelita comes in for Porter. And Stephen Curry subbed in for Andrew Wiggins. Now, here's Curry. He's got 31. Looney kicks to Thompson. Over Tatum. And the rejection by Tatum. And how about the craftiness from Tatum? He plays smart, quick hands on defense, and able to block the shot. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. One thirty-three left to play in the third. It's stolen by Tice. And here's Smart. Tice with the ball. Plays it up and banks it in. Now just a one-point Warrior lead. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Curry passes to Bialica. Back to Curry. And the officials will call the illegal spin right there. Now beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. A basket would put them in front for the first time today. And you can tell they know what this possession means. They get it back. White. And no good. But close on that one, so he'll shoot two. Looney. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. 
And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. What a tremendous showing from the three-pointer all through this game. Another thing they've done well tonight is to share the basketball. So many of their buckets have just been off crisp offensive sets, setting up their shooters. He's off on the first. That one drops. He ties it up. You can tell that miss at the line might stick with him for a while always hurts to miss a chance to take the lead pool the pass to thompson over tatum thompson with the bucket thompson's got 16. well defenses think that they're there but because clay has that high quick shot release it's not quite close enough against that throwdown. Nope, not what they want to see in a game this close, Greg. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. It's tipped. And he gets it back. And there's the call on Curry. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive That's play to cut him off there and foul. square up. And some changes here for the Celtics. Al Horford is checked in for Williams. Jalen Brown comes in for Tatum. And it's Pritchard in for Marcus Smart. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Here's Brown. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. for three and he's good on the three ball Curry's got 16 points here in the second half it's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors and his big game just keeps getting bigger that quarter sees him get over 30 points back to the action after this word while we have the chance now folks let's go to our State Farm assist of the game and how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. And the passing for the team becoming contagious, this time involving the big. Come on, fans. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Jordan Poole is out there with Peyton. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. Then it's Porter. And it's Looney in at the five. Now here's Williams. Second chance shot. Wiggins with the block. His length gives Wiggins an advantage on the D. He can get his hand to shots that a lot of other players would not be able to impact. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. Celtics trail by three. Outside Tatum. Cruel with the steal. To the inside. And finished off by the quarter. And we talk about Porter's reliability. He makes a few mistakes finishing around the rim. Smart kicks to White. Warriors foul. Gary Payton the second. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Williams dishes to Williams. Celtics passing it around. Williams passes to Tatum. Shot clock at three. I like Kevon Looney's approach that time. Gets physical, and he's given the shooter some problems. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Now, here's Poole. Wiggins kicks to Poole. Wiggins against Tatum. 
Peyton surveying the floor. Higgins passes the pool. And another three for Golden State. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Tatum. Back to Smart from outside the arc. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Poole kicks to Payton. Poole on the wing. Puts one up for 19. And another basket for Golden State. Celtics trail by eight. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. White goes in, and White slams it in. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, we'll have to settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. And here are the Warriors now, after the basket by Boston. Here's Wiggins, and it's good off Andrew, the back of the rim and in. Wiggins has got the lead up to eight now for the Warriors. For Boston, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Williams, good, and Smart gets the assist. 16 points for Williams. Showing that aggressive nature. Williams competes hard, doesn't back down, and will let his opponent know he's not afraid of the contest. And it's Wiggins with the jam. Whoa, this dude, that'll wake you up. He is Jordan. such a great athlete. Time call here. The Celtics decide Boston. to talk it over. Brown, Brown is checked in for Derek White. And on our sideline, our reporter, Brown. David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. During the last break, got to listen in on Ime Adoka's huddle with his team. He said, guys, we don't want to play hero ball. We don't want to take threes that aren't there. There are better options when you run the offense all the way through. And we will see if they can make that adjustment. Okay, David, thanks. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Outside quarter. Looney kicks to pool. Pocket six. Takes the 13-footer. Rebounded by Smart. Smart's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Brock. Now here's Tatum. Outside Williams. The Warriors pull it in. Looney's got his fifth rebound in this one. Now Poole. He kicks it to Payton. Pass to Porter. Back to Payton. Williams with the steal. Williams with the ball. Now guarded by Porter. Williams dishes to Smart. Down low. Here's Tatum. Yes! And the foul! It's going to go on Otto Porter Jr. And how about Tatum here? Using his muscle easily absorbing oh, the contact and still able to knock down the shot. Some changes for Golden State. Thompson comes in for Otto Porter Jr. And Curry subbed in for Gary Payton. At the line with one shot. And that one falls for Tatum. And you know, Jason Tatum is one of those guys who can really do it all. He's got a personal skill set that makes him a constant threat on both ends of the floor. Now, here's Thompson. And a fast break now for the Celtics. Brown's got the ball. Shoots over Poole. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Brown's got 22. And the craftiness of Brown, just so creative at picking apart the defense with his ball hand. Curry outside. Looney passes to Wiggins. Here's Poole. He's covered by Brown. Shot clock at six. 
Curry against Smart. The shot by Curry, no good. Boston trail. Here's Brown, and finished off by Brown. And you gotta love how seriously Brown takes his ability to score. He has the green light to fire from just about anywhere on the court. Now, here's Poole. He's covered by Brown. Looney kicks to Poole. They need this one. Out to Thompson. And right through it goes. Oh, take a snapshot of that. That was picture perfect from Clay. And it's smart with the ball for the Boston Celtics. They trail by one. The pass to Brown. Broke loose. Tatum dishes to Brown. Six on the shot clock. Smart passes to Williams. And it's good. The time running down on the shot clock. Williams has got the lead up to one now for the Celtics. Warriors have gone six and nine on the field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Curry against Smart. It's up a three. Curry can't get it to go. For Boston, they've gone 8 of 13 to the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. Smart passes to Williams. The kick out to Tatum. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Nice job by Tatum inside. Very assertive. He's fantastic at putting the pressure on the D and consistently getting to the line. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Boston. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. Well, you add to that, their block totals tonight. They've been very feisty and active on the defensive end. The first one falls. Al Horford, he's checked in for the Celtics. Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. And so Tatum nails them both. They've done a much better job on the line. Yes, they've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. Timeout called the Warriors. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Warriors trail by three. Now here's Thompson. Pass to Looney. Back to Thompson. Higgins outside. Golden State moving it around. Curry is inside. Guarded by Smart. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That one on Smart. That's a good effort from Curry, just jumping right into the key, not minding who's around, getting the call. Stephen Curry, two shots. Good from Stephen Curry. <laughs> Stephen Curry hits them both. The Celtics with the lead. Outside, smart. Wiggins against Tatum. 
Here he goes. And boy, that looked like Holton. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. Just barely too late and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed. So can't fault him for going for the block. Warriors trail by three. This is it to Curry. Jacks up a three. Trains the three-pointer. Curry's got five points now in the quarter. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Tatum wide open, he fires one. Sinks the triple. Tatum's got the lead back up to three now for Boston. Now the D has done a very poor job at contesting him from outside, guys. He's tearing into them right now, and they cannot stop him. Now here's Curry, and there's the call on Curry. That's foul number two for him. Turnovers weren't a story for him early on, that's but that's second. changed. First and now foul. they're definitely having trouble keeping foul. possession and momentum. Smart deciding where to go with it. Pass to Tatum. Fires from deep. He's off on that one. And Golden State will go the other way with it. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. They double-team Curry. Kicks it to Wiggins. Over Williams. Excellent D there from Williams. Celtics leading by three. There's the pass to Brown. Smart against Curry. Outside Tatum. Six to shoot. For three. Warriors with the rebound. Here's Curry. Good work there as it goes. Curry's got 41. What work from Steph Curry gets open and makes it look easy. Wow. Now a timeout called by Boston. All right. Look who's coming on to the court. Come on and get loud. Here are the Celtics dancers. Boston's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Smart finds Tatum. It's Brown on the win. Shoots the three. Clay Thompson grabs the miss. The Warriors trailing. To take the lead. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. The Celtics shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Brown outside. And Curry pulls it down. Curry's got rebound number eight here tonight two in the game. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 156 left here in the fourth quarter. They double team Curry. Wiggins from outside. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Three points. Curry's got six assists here tonight. Celtics trail by four. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Tatum. Hits the close range jumper. Tatum's got 30. And Tatum's experience in these spots is starting to show. He's never been afraid to take the biggest shots. Now here's Curry. Higgins outside. To the paint. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And it's now 22 points for Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson, no stranger to these situations, always willing to fire in the big moment. From 10 feet out, jump shot is good that time. A great intensity here down the stretch. He's not one to shrink in the moment. Take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. There's Rudy. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Pocket six. 
Horford against Curry. Let's it go from the wing. Whoops, there's the 24 second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Yikes, that one stings there. Hurts so much more to turn the ball over, especially with how tight the game is. The Celtics shooting very well right now, 52% in this fourth quarter. The three from Tatum nails the triple. Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? And here is Curry. Here's Green. Help! Remember that one. Green guys, a difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? A big time possession here. Yeah, and their hearts must be going 100 miles an hour right now. The kick out to Luke. That's Ryan Smart. And that one comes up a bit short. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. Foul. So it's the Warriors now. Well, they lead by one. And now we've got the intentional foul. That's his fifth personal foul. Third team foul. Along for the Warriors. Stephen Curry. Along for two. It's the first. That will put them up by two. So both free throws are good. And it's a three-point game. That last one was a difference maker. It pushed it from a two-point lead to three. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They trail by three. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a five. Don't force something up. you got to be smart here. And slammed up by Tatum. Let's give some credit to Tatum. Doesn't crash when the pressure's on. He just seems to embrace the moment. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. At the line for the Warriors, Stephen Curry taking two shots. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. Well, you can bet that's what they're looking for. This late in the game, they need that three. Oh, what a huge basket to tie the game! By Tatum, a better three-point shooter than many scouts thought he might be. Timeout called the Warriors. It's tied at 113. Just four seconds left in the game. Outside curve. Over smart. Shot is good. But oh, it looks like this one might get reviewed. Very close on the release. And don't start the celebration just yet. They're going to have a second look at the replay monitor and see if it got in. This one's over if the original ruling of a basket stands. But uh, we'll see. And guys, with the NBA championship on the line, plenty of pressure in this situation, not only for the players, but the officials too. So you know they're happy to have instant replay at their disposal to get this right. The officials have made their decision. The best as we thought will count. It took a little while to check the replay, but they did in fact have it right. He got it off GA in time. And even though they had it right the first time, it's always a smart move to double check. When it comes to the game-winning shot, you have got to go to replay. 
So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors, pulling out the W. This was a crucial game for him, tying up the series at two apiece, Greg, a, a huge accomplishment. And this series, I think, hinged on who picked up game four, Kevin. I mean, now it's a three-game series, and anything can happen. Game four of the NBA Finals is 